Hello and welcome to the Noble Leaders Cup. I am shot like this is the first qualifying round. The game is between Mary Stewart and Witbui. Mary Stewart is spiritual and industrious. Witbui is charismatic and protective. Both Scotland and Kuisan starts with mysticism and hunting. This is the starting uh, position. Mary Stewart, let's get the resource bubbles on, starts here. On the eastern part of the starting continent, one, two, three, and four clams together with some oil and some sugar for Mary Stewart, where she starts. And then up here in the north, we have the starting position of Witbui. He starts every side with a fish. There's also a fish up here. There is some crab here. There are cows and another crab down there. So let's get the game rolling and see who can uh, get through to the second uh, qualifying round. Mary Stewart of Scotland or Witbui of Kuisa. One city each, different religions. Witbui courses towards Mary Stewart and this is the start. Witbui first to two cities. That's always an advantage if we can continue doing that. Turn 63, 3-1, Whitby had three cities before Mary Stewart has had her second. 4-2 to two is the city count, and Mary Stewart is also weaker than Whitby at the moment. 6-2 to two for Whitby. This is looking like a very early, very big advantage for the Khoisan leader. 6-3 to three is the city count at the moment. And Mary Stewart down to 0.8, the strength of Witbui already. 7-4, to 7-5 is the city count now. It's uh, equaling out a little bit when we're closing to the mid game. 7-5 to five different religions. Witbui is now actually pleased with Mary Stewart as well. That could be something worth uh, paying attention to, but 9 cities to 5 now for Witbui. Then going for construction and metal casting philosophy for Mary Stewart now done. 9 cities to 7, Witbui is more higher in score, Witbui has more cities. And now they are equal in military power then, Witbui. Going engineering into guild, uh, going machinery into guilds, I mean. Mary Stewart is getting uh, construction as well. 11 cities with Bui, 8 cities Mary Stewart at the moment. And we see the, see the expansion on the minimap. You can pay attention, they are still in the building in the expansion phase. Building cities and stuff. 13 cities with Bui, 10 cities Mary Stewart now. But Mary Stewart down to 0.7 the strength and Witbui got engineering as well, going paper next. And music next for Witbui, 14 to 13, but now Mary Stewart is up to 13 cities. She has expanded well in the mid game. And she has almost caught up with Witbui when it comes to the number of cities. Liberalism next for Witbui though, Mary Stewart is getting here feudalism, I think Witbui may have been first to liberalism, I think so. Going optics next then, and astronomy, while Mary Stewart is on banking, 15 cities to 14, and Witbui could be the first to get into the new world, to the continent in the east, well not in the far northeast, but that uh, eastern-ish, uh, little bit east in the middle. As you can see, 16 cities to 14 at the moment. And they are uh, equal in strength, Witbui higher in score, 16 to 15 is the city count, 17 to 15. So let's see if Whitbury goes first into that continent, the big continent. He is at least on that island up in the northeast there. 18 to 15 is the city count at the moment. Turn 286. Whitbury has circumnavigated the globe as well. 18 to 15 is the count at the moment. Going corporations. Mary Stewart is going gunpowder into chemistry. And 15 cities for Mary Stewart, 18 cities with Boy. This game is wide open, still wide open. Mary Stewart, point 0.9, the strength of it, Boy, though. Now with Boy settling the continent in the southeast up to 21 cities. Mary Stewart is getting astronomy right now while with Boy is on physics. Scientific method next for Mary Stewart and 16 cities. With Boy on 21 and going gunpowder into chemistry. Himself, 16 cities for Mary Stewart, 22 for Whitboy, 22 to 18 now as Mary Stewart found another two cities. And she is expanding into the new world as well and going rifling, both of them are rifling at the moment though. Even Whitboy is pleased with Mary Stewart, but with 23 cities to 18, that is a slight advantage Whitboy at the moment. And he is also about 600 points higher in score. 
Mary Stewart, 0.9 the strength of Witboy as well, so it looks to me like Witboy has a slight advantage, but one war and it could all have been turned around. 25 cities to 20, Witboy going steel though. That is important. Mary Stewart is on steam power. 27 cities to 20 now, so Witboy has been better at expansion. As he got astronomy a little bit earlier than Mary Stewart. But 27 to 21, 28 to 21. Railroads next to Witboy. Mary Stewart is getting her steam power up though. But she is 7 cities behind, and now she's going for steel while Witboy is on combustion. Turn 348. And yeah, Mary Stewart is in a golden age. 22 cities now for Mary Stewart, 28 for Witboy, getting his military tradition, and Mary Stewart is getting railroads while Witboy is in electricity. It looks to me like maybe if they stay at peace, Witboy could possibly win this game by going to space, unless Mary Stewart. Well, she is not running the slider for culture at the moment. She is taking both of them going assembly line. 28 cities with boy, 23 cities Mary Stewart, and now industrialism for with boy. This could be something with boy. And 7, 5 cities left to that. Fascism for Mary Stewart though. 28 cities to 23 with boy. Is more in score. Turn 375 now. Mary Stewart with another golden age. 28 to 23 is the city count. Plastics for with boy. Physics now, Mary Stewart, and next is electricity, so she is going that route as well. She is down to point 0.8 to strength of Witboy now, but it doesn't look like Witboy is planning to attack, I don't know. He is a little bit stronger than Mary Stewart, Mary Stewart down to point 0.8 to strength, but that is only natural as he has more cities as well and higher score and stuff. And probably a little bit ahead in tech. Going radio next, Mary Stewart is on artillery though. 28 to 23 is the city count. Now uh, rocketry for Mary Stewart. Fascism next for Witbui. 28 to 23. Turn 400 is here. So we have past turn 400. Biology Witbui. This could be a space race in the making as well. Uh, or if Mary Stewart wanted it, she could turn up the cultural slider. She's getting approximately a thousand culture per turn. 28 to 23 is the city count though. Yeah, she's getting a thousand culture per turn. With her 23 cities, turn 412. And she is a little bit behind. I feel that mass media now. Because Whitbury has more in score and he has five more cities and he is a little bit stronger and he's getting lasers now. Mary Stewart is on industrialism though. Two turns away from that while Witbui is getting lasers. 28 cities to 23. We are at turn 419. Which means that we are at turn 420 and getting into the 21st century. With Mary Stewart getting plastics and Witbui getting fission, I believe. And he has completed the Apollo program. Witbui has completed the Apollo program. And it looks that he has the advantage if this is a space race at the moment, but we'll see. We'll just have to wait and see. Turn 426 at the moment. 28 cities to 23. And Witboy is a little bit stronger than Mary Stewart. Mary Stewart is now on satellites. What is Witboy going to do? He's on flight. Getting that in a couple of turns. Ecology next for Mary Stewart. And Witboy. He is looking at winning a space race here now, I think. Unless Mary Stewart gets some culture. She's not running a cultural slider. She's getting 1300 culture per turn. And Witboy has completed since Sushi. Going for composites next. Refrigeration then for Mary Stewart. Turn 436 here. 28 to 23. Flight next for Mary Stewart. And it looks like it is a space race to me. Let's see, I haven't paid attention. I haven't seen an Edinburgh has achieved legendary culture. Edinburgh, that's a Scottish city. Is that the second Scottish city to leech legendary or is it the first? 
maybe Mary Stewart is going to go for it. She has not been running the slider, but she is getting 1500 culture per turn. And it is late enough that she could win culture just by uh, doing a lot of cultural buildings and stuff. Uh, going for genetic stone next. And Witboy is on what is that superconductor's creative constructions has been incorporated. Mary Stewart completes a docking bay, which means that Mary Stewart also has the Apollo program. Turn 452. And Mary Stewart is getting lasers. And now she's running culture. Now she is running culture. She's running the slider, getting 4200 culture per turn. Now Mary Stewart is running the cultural slider while she is tacking towards lasers and Vitbui is on fusion, I believe. Mary Stewart down to 0.5 the strength of Vitbui. She may have deleted some units. Vitbui completes the spaceship casing. But 4200 per turn, Mary Stewart, we know Edinburgh already is legendary. I don't know if she has one other city or not. But Vitbui completes the spaceship casing. And uh, Mining Inc. in Witboy and he completes life support as well. I haven't seen any launches though. Turn 461 and Mary Stewart is going for the cultural. She has completed the spaceship thruster but she is going for the cultural win here. She is running the slider getting 4000 culture per turn. Mary Stewart completes the spaceship thruster as well. Turn 465 now. Some global warming happening and stuff. 466. 28 to 24, 27 to 24. So uh, there is a city that has revolted and joined the Scottish Empire. Clearly Mary Stewart has a lot of culture. Mary Stewart completes life support as well. But she is running the slider. Getting 4100 per turn now culture in her empire. With the completing of a spaceship thruster as well. I haven't seen with boy. Uh, Vitbui um, actually uh, launching a spaceship here, turn 472. I haven't seen him building any parts in a long time either. So if he has launched, I don't know. This is exciting now. 80% on the cultural slider for Mary Stewart. Vitbui is getting stealth. <coughs> Global warming near Edinburgh, that's not good. Lasers in 14. Without really tacking toward it, Witbui completes a docking bay, but I haven't seen any messages about launches. He completes another spaceship thruster. This is either a Witbui spaceship victory or a Mary Stewart cultural victory, I believe, because Witbui must be ahead. He must really be ahead in the spaceship race. And there there were some spies that have been uh, taken out, I believe. And Serial Mills has been incorporated, that's Vitbui as well. 4300 per turn now, Mary Stewart has completed the spaceship thrusters, but has Vitboy launched the spaceship? Has Vitboy launched the spaceship? We don't really get to know that, because he's the away leader. We have to pay attention to the chat in the middle of the screen, and I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it there, but then again, I could have missed it. Turn 485 now, Vitbui. Have you launched? Are you close to getting landing? I don't know, there is a Scottish revolt taking place in the city here. Mary Stewart running the slider with is oh, actually on future tech and Mary Stewart goes towards computers but uh, she is never going to reach it. There is a Scottish revolt that has taken place in London, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that is <laughs> hilarious. And Vitbui completes the spaceship cockpit, but that means he hasn't launched yet. Vitbui has completed another spaceship thruster, but has he launched? He hasn't launched. He completes another thruster. This could be it. He could be on his way to launching the spaceship now. But with 4,700 culture per turn, Mary Stewart, how close are you to the cultural victory? We are going on to turn 499, we are getting up to for turn 500 now. If there is no victory at the moment, turn 500 means we are going into extra time and Vitbui completes another spaceship thruster, he must be close to launching now. You have to pay attention to the chat to see. But there may also be more than 6 messages on the screen, in which case I would miss it. 
that Mary Stewart culture or Witboy space. Witboy has launched! Witboy has launched! Witboy has completed the spaceship engine and he has launched and he has gotten the, spa the stasis chamber as well. Can Mary Stewart in just a few turns win culture or will Witboy win the space race? Mary Stewart is desperately trying to go for the cultural slider. She has been doing that, getting 5000 culture per turn now, Mary Stewart. Turn 5 on 9, will Witboy land at Alpha Centauri before Mary Stewart can get her third legendary city? Witboy and no, no, Witboy lost, Witboy lost, Mary Stewart has won the cultural victory. How close was Witboy to landing at Alpha Centauri? I have no idea, but Mary Stewart is through to the second qualifying round. She has won the cultural victory. Turn 5, 11, 2091, AD. This was a peaceful game, Mary Stewart won the cultural victory in 2091. We know that Witboy launched the spaceship, so he must have launched in 2082, the same turn as he completed his engine and stasis chamber. It must have been really close between them. Let's go exit and take a look at the stats on the graph. First, here we see the score, Mary Stewart is the blue. This is the score, this is the GNP, this is the production, the food the power, the culture, and the espionage. Demographics. We see Mary Stewart to the left and Vit Bui to the right. And the numbers are good for both of them. Let's go take a look at the top six cities and wonders, and then go to the bottom and see that there were two BC wonders in this game, Stonehenge and the Oracle. Let's get back to the top. Mary Stewart's Edinburgh is the number one city, Glasgow number two, Aberdeen number three, then East Kilbride number four, Inverness five, and then Witboy's only city on the top six cities list is number six, that's Quenang. Statistics, 
Mary Stewart built 23 cities, 5 legions, 3 golden ages currently on 67 windmills, 41,025 lumber mills. She did build in her cities 23 barracks, granaries, lighthouses, and you see the list goes down to 8 Jewish synagogues. Let's go page down. One hermitage at the bottom of that page. Let's go page down again and see one mausoleum of Mausolos at the bottom there. Let's go page down again and see the Great Wall completing the list of buildings built by Mary Stewart. Her current units then, 47 infantry, 35 marines, 23 workers down to one destroyer. She uh, trained a total of 52 Jewish missionaries, 46 Christian missionaries, 41 Buddhist missionaries, I think I know how she won her cultural victory, all those cultural uh, buildings. 38 uh, marines, 33 long women, and stuff down to 6 guided missiles. Let's go page down and see one pikeman there. Let's go page down again and see a transport at the bottom of the list of units trained. Let's look at the kills. Nine privateers, a frigate, a caravel, and a ship of the line, and the losses were eight privateers, five frigates, three galleons, two caravels, a worker, a settler, and a high lander. Let's go take a look at uh, Vitbui's numbers then. 28 cities built, two legions, two golden ages currently on 62 windmills, 60 towns, 43 farms he did build in his cities. Oops, let's go all the way to the top. Uh, round, uh, 28 round hats, 27 harbors and barracks is down to 12 walls. Let's go pay, page uh, page down, I said. And here we see then one serial mills at the bottom, page down again. And we see the colossus at the complete bottom of the list. Let's go to the current units then. 72 mechanized infantry, 26 workers, 21 marines, down to one stealth destroyer. He trained a total of 49 longbowmen, 40 workers, 29 settlers, down to seven great scientists. Let's go page down and see a war elephant at the bottom there. Let's go page down again and see a tank, completing the list of units trained. Let's confirm the kills then. Eight privateers, five frigates, three galleons, two caravels, a worker settler, and highlander, and the losses... Nine privateers, a frigate, a caravel, and a ship of the line. Let's go take a look at the victory condition screen, shall we? Here we have the confirmation. Glasgow reached legendary 50,132 points, which means that Mary Stewart won the cultural victory. And the Bergen Aberdeen were the other cultural uh, cities. We see here with Boy, we know that he launched. He does miss one engine. I think that that means that it could be delayed compared to the 10 turn uh, timer maybe it's 12 or 15 i'm actually not so sure what the timer is when you only have one engine if you know then let me know uh, but congratulations either way to mary stewart let's go take a look at the city stand uh, mary stewart with 24 of them so let's sort by population here. Edinburgh, Pop 25, Inverness 22, MVC Sterling, Dunfermline and Granroths uh, 21. They are very happy. They are healthy with just two exceptions. They have very good food. They have, especially in Edinburgh, have a good base commerce and decent for the rest and good production as well. Let's go take a look at Vitbui's city stand. We have to get those as well, of course. He has 27 of them, which means that when we click here and sort by pop, there should be one city on page two. Uh, Urshi Koto, pop 26, Chuba 24, Ushanga Masinga 23, and they are happy and they are healthy and they have really good food, base food. They have also, even though there are no triple digit base commerces, I think it's very good because it's a lot of 80s and 90s and 70s and stuff like that. And production is good as well. Building Oxford University and Statue of Liberty and stuff. Kapperivi Pop 8 is the last uh, city on page 1. And London is the city on page 2.
Congratulations then, Mary Stewart with the cultural win 2091 turned 511. In overtime, tomorrow there is another game from the Capitats, Medici versus its Kotel. I am Shot Like, this has been the Nobel Leaders Cup. I hope to see you back later. Goodbye for now.